This short video will demonstrate how to save and send the appointment list report exercise that I'm asking for you to complete for Chapter 3. Now please don't do this exercise, I'm sorry, don't send this report to me until you have completed all the exercises in Chapter 3, including the Apply Your Skills one at the end of the chapter on page 123. Once those are all done, here's what you do, and I've got this the instructions written out as well, but for some of us it's helpful to see it on the screen. So open up Metasoft, particularly the office hours. Um, get to reports and then you're going to select appointment list, the very first option from the menu. You're going to see this report set up. Let's preview this on the screen so you can see what it looks like and click on start. All I need you to do is change your dates here because this is going to show me if you've scheduled all the appointments that you needed to for all of chapter 3. So you want to type in October 1st, 2016 for the first date and the second date November 30th, 2016. Uh, leave the provider boxes blank and then simply say OK. And this is, this is it right here. I should see um, all the patients that you've scheduled for Chapter 3 in here. Now if you're looking at my screen and mine looks different than yours, it might very well be because I may not have done all of the exercises. I, I can't recall right now. I don't think I did from looking at this. Um, once you get to this screen, come on up to the top and you'll see this icon just to the left of the close button. It says Save Report to Disk. Click on that and then you need to save this and you need to remember where you saved this because you're going to go back to that and then send it to me so I am I think I'm going to save it in documents here let me take a peek here um, I'm going to go to documents here and I have a PTI I have a Metasoft one you can see I've done this in the past so what I'd like you to do is save it with your last name first come on down to the bottom where it says file name and type in your last name. Now I'm going to put mm, my first initial here because I've saved it so many times. And then a, just a, a dash for Chapter 3. Now it's going to save it as a .qrp file which is a quick report. You cannot open this if you don't have it, you cannot open it outside of Metasoft. So if you think you want to look at it before you send it to me, I'll explain how to do that, but know that you can't just double click on it and look at it. Alright, so I've saved it here under Met my Metasoft folder, Hamilton P. Save. Done. All I need to do now is send it to the instructor. So you can close this out if you'd like. I'm going to minimize this because in a minute I'll show you um, how to look at it. Then get back to our Blackboard course shell and you will, you're will you going to find under assessments in the week 3 assessments I'm going to have this titled appointment list report exercise. Um, it's in a slightly different view right now uh, because as the instructor I can get in and see things. So your, your sheet might look a little bit different but that's what you're going to go click on this. It'll, it'll tell you the due date, tell you how many points possible. Scroll down to where it says attach file, select browse my computer, get back to where you um, saved it on your computer or in your computer and it was Hamilton P right there. See there was tonight today's date. Click on that, actually double click if that helps. It's now attached and simply submit. Now mine's not going to submit to me because I'm not a, a student here, so sorry I shouldn't have clicked on that, but that's all you have to do. That's it, okay? Now one quick thing, let me just show you one more thing. If you would like to see your report before you send it to me, go back to Office Hours, select um, Reports, and slide down to Load saved reports. Locate that .qrp file, double click on it, and there you can see it. Okay, now remember that's the only time you can see it is if you open it up in Metasoft. And that's it folks.